r slash creepy encounters. If Ibibi says. Creepy men at dollar store. I went to the dollar store near me, within a block, a couple days ago. I got what I needed, and went to stand in the checkout line. There were two men in front of me at the register. One, 60 Aish, paying for their items and the other built like a brick wall, 40 Aish. I glanced in their cart, and noticed 4 gallons of bleach, and a myriad of other cleaning supplies. I said something to the effect of, damn, who'd y'all kill? Brick wall turns around, looks me dead in the eyes and says, what? At this point, anyone with a sense of self-preservation would have stfu. Not me, I repeated myself. He gave me this really creepy smirk, didn't respond and turned around. They finished checking out and left. I checked out my items. When I exited the store, I saw Brick Wall and his friend staring at the door, then started pointing, and seemed to be seriously discussing me. I walked past their truck, as I did, they started it and left. Needless to say, I didn't go straight home. Vitamin Anarchy says. You're why I overthinking this? There's a good chance they thought you were being creepy, because of the morbid nature of your joke. If Ibibi says. Good chance there too, but I'm 55, and don't think I've ever seen someone buy that much bleach slash cleaning supplies. Except maybe in movies, where they were trying to cover up a crime scene. JS. But, then again, I do have a terrible sense of humor. Software Maintenance says. This. The two dudes may have been creeps. But op was weird too. I guess it is just the dollar store clientele. Ian Smith says. You should never engage someone like that. In BC just about a month ago a father was brutally stabbed to death for asking someone to not vape in his daughter's face. People are unhinged. Keep your thoughts to yourself next time, I would advise. If Ibibi says. Thank you. And you're correct. Mary Ahisalapi says. We're overthinking people buying bleach and not liking jokes about murder now. Metric Knight says. Bleach disinfects and dilutes blood, but does not remove it completely, depending on the material it is on. There are other better chemicals, to use to remove blood. Just speaking from the time I worked a floor tech at a hospital as I had to do a lot of clean up on blood and other body fluids. Victorian Libra 22 says. To be safe, definitely keep that sort of thought to yourself next time. You just never know these days. Tom Jerry says. When I bought my house years ago, a possum died in the backyard bushes. Smelled awful. I did not yet have any yard tools, and went to the hardware store, and bought a shovel and a bag of lime. I got some looks, like I was a hit man for the mob. Snacks die I um I'm says. We often buy 4 and 5 bottles of bleach from the dollar store at a time. We live in an old house, and if we don't pour bleach down the drains in the basement floor every couple of weeks, they start to stink really bad. It's not really that unusual. r slash creepy encounters. Wicked says. An elderly couple tried to lure me into their car before a baseball game. When I was a kid, no older than 10, I was walking to the mailbox to get the mail from my parents. I was fully clad in my baseball uniform, ready to go. A car pulled over, and an elderly woman urged me to get into the car. Immediately, I knew something was off. Come on we're going to be late, she insisted. She went on saying things like my bat and glove were in the trunk, telling me that my dad had given it to them. She said my dad couldn't take me anymore, so he asked them to take me, and that they live nearby. I honestly don't remember what I did. I just remember the anxiety of piecing together what was happening. I want to say I booked it, and ran for the house, but as I've got older I don't even remember anymore. All I remember, is being back at the house and the creepy old lady ended up ringing the doorbell. 
when my dad answered he was obviously confused, and she told him that they were testing me to see if I'd jump in the car. The most unsettling thing to me is I don't remember if I actually got in their car. I'm not particularly old, but the experience pumped so much adrenaline in me that I truly don't remember it well. When I try to remember I can picture both outcomes of me running home and me in their car. I don't remember getting a scolding, so I tend to assume the former occurred, but I'm still not sure. Testing children or not, what a, frick, ed up thing to do in your free time. It makes me wonder if this couple actually had the intentions they spoke of. I remember getting home and not saying a word to my parents, the shock was still fresh, and I had no time to process what just happened. Was ringing the doorbell afterwards some kind of cover up for a failed attempt to avoid being reported to the police? Has anyone ever encountered something similar? I just find the whole situation extremely off-putting. You don't really find too many kids walking around alone in baseball uniforms, and coming up with that stuff on the fly gives me the impression that it was not that lady's first time trying to coax a kid into her car. Several Degree 989 says. Creepy by Arch. R slash creepy encounters. Capital Afternoon 22 says. I answered the door to a stranger when I was a teenager. When I was 17 I split my time between my mom and dad's houses, they were divorced. One night when my dad was away, he traveled a lot for work, I was alone at the house. I liked to surprise him with a clean house, so I was vacuuming, and it was about 9pm. Someone knocked on the door and I foolishly opened it, and a man was there, and asked me if he could use our phone to make a call. I said no, but he persisted, until I closed the door. I really didn't think much of it and continued vacuuming. A few minutes later I hear a rapping at the back door on the porch. The same man is there waving at me insisting I let him in. At that point I called the police and they came, and escorted me to my car, and I drove to my mom's house. The next day, when my dad was back we discovered items in our backyard had been moved around, the garbage and recycling had been gone through. The same thing was with the neighbors as well. I feel so naive for opening the door in the first place. But I also feel lucky nothing bad happened, as it easily could have. Vitamin Anarchy says. That cold got an ugly really quickly. We all make mistakes like that so don't beat yourself up too bad. I'm just glad he didn't force his way in after you opened the door. One good thing came out of it though. I bet you're a lot more cautious now. R slash creepy encounters. Kirabu says. Was I in danger? So the other day I was out getting food, and when I was ordering this guy came up to me, and told me he was homeless, and asked if me, I would buy him something to eat. So I said yes, and asked him what he wanted, but he didn't want anything from where I was ordering, and asked me to follow him, until he could decide what he wanted. At this point I felt a bit uncomfortable, and said I was sorry, but I didn't have time to follow him, and he just left, and that was that. It doesn't seem like much, but I should also add, that when I was ordering my food he was asking me how old I was, if I was meeting anyone, and if I was single, and if my boyfriend was around, when I said I wasn't single. I kept looking behind me on the way home, but I don't know, I don't know, if he was just an over friendly slash flirty man, or if it was something actually sinister. Cats Against Humanity says. He would have taken you up on your offer, and chosen something, if he were hungry. Leaving the location with him? Sketchy as hell. MR underscore Mitch 86 says. It sounds more like crazy than dangerous, but it is a fine line. I think if he was looking to rob you, he would have probably asked for money straight away, and been more insistent about getting you to leave with him. It's quite possible, that it made sense to him so when he refused, he didn't think anymore about it. Butterfly Garden says. 
Sounds like a possible combination of mental illness and a possible attempt to rob you. If you had followed him, like he wanted you to. Fiyangu says. People are too polite. I found myself walking near the gas lamp district of Vancouver once after dark. Those bums really got aggressive and coming closer to me until I straightened up my stance and mad dog the closest one. They all backed off as I made my way back to a safer area. Boulding Bigfoot says. If you felt in danger you might have been. Our instincts are there for a reason. Americans we like, for the most part, to help people. We are more open to complete strangers than most. Telling all sorts of people our business. I'm general if someone accepts your help because they need it, they don't normally move the goalpost. Was it totally nefarious? But your instincts were triggered. Either way you weren't comfortable and that's all that matters. R slash creepy encounters. Gui from Germany 25 says. Am I in trouble? Last week I received a call from an unknown user. My first thought was that someone wants to sell me anything or something like that. Normally I wouldn't answer, but I was bored and thought I might prank the other person. A male voice that didn't sound familiar to me said, you proved that you are a real fighter, you didn't let life defeat you, I will call you again in a week, and then it will start. I know nothing about it, and I assumed it was a harmless joke. Until yesterday, the time a week passed by. I was on my way to a job interview, and was waiting at a bus stop for the bus. Which was already in sight, but stood in front of a red traffic light. My phone started to rang, and again it's from an unknown user, this time I didn't want to answer. But out of the sudden this guy who was sitting in the bus stop house said, didn't he mention that he would call you again. At first I thought he was on the phone, because he had airpods inside his ears, but then he looked straight in my direction and asked, don't you want to answer? I asked him what he means, but he didn't answer. Then my bus stood in front of us, and because I was in a hurry, I just got on and left. I finished my job interview, went home and haven't left my apartment since. Sometimes I look out of the windows to see if anything or anyone seems strange to me. But so far I haven't noticed anything until now. No further call came in. I'm a bit scared now, and I don't know what I should do about it. What do you think about all this? White Knight says. This is r slash creepy encounters, not r slash noelep. JLM20566 says. Have you ever seen the show Mr. Robot? Watagai64 says. I think only thing you can really do is notify police. Have them try to track the phone number to a specific person and maybe an arrest can be made if necessary. I'd stay armed at all times too, whether it's a gun, knife, baseball bat, etc. Whatever you can legally carry where you are. Lauren and 7094 says. This is just a silly made up story. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.